Well, my job, I uh, had two jobs, executive director of the nonprofit Sports Legacy Institute and the uh, co-director of the Center for the Study of Traumatic Encephalopathy at Boston University School of Medicine. Uh, you know, my, my dream has been to you know, grow those organizations to help create a world where uh, we aren't hitting kids in the head and creating a uh, degenerate brain disease that we uh, study. I would say I was surprised by a number of things. Uh, you know, one I was surprised by uh, the reception I received from the Eisenhower Fellows along the way. I mean, I was halfway across the world, and uh, you know, I, it was like I had uh, guides in every city and every country. They all the fellows worked so hard to get me the meetings that I really uh, needed to to accomplish my mission. So. Uh, you know, one was the hospitality of the Eisenhower Fellows, and, and two, you know, one, one of my goals, you know, really was to expand our research network and meet other researchers, and, and so we can uh, do the work we do here better, find a treatment for this disease, but also raise awareness of the concussion problem in sports, uh, and that awareness doesn't, doesn't really exist in Europe at all, and so uh, it was interesting for me to see how different it was country by country in terms of my reception. There's some places like Ireland, they were very happy to see me and had heard of our work, and uh, other places like Germany, um, they couldn't even point me to an expert who worked on concussions, even though it's uh, you know, the largest country and uh, sports is a big deal. Right. So um, the, the cultural differences and how the, the cultural differences affect the, the medical care uh, was was very interesting to me. Or, or, or a new aspect about myself was just you know how comfortable I was uh, you know being on the road and meeting with these people uh, you know that's the kind of you know to, to do the work I want to do I'll have to I, 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 I travel constantly and, and be put in a lot of interesting situations with people from different backgrounds and different cultures and. Um, you know, the, the ease and the practice of which to kind of build those personal connections in a brief period of time that were sustainable from across the ocean, um, you know, was, was incredibly valuable. So I, I learned that I, that I can do that. Well, there, were, there were two outcomes from the fellowship that were very uh, critical for me. One was, was the practical outcomes of building this, this research network. I'm now in, in constant uh, contact with uh, folks in Ireland and in Germany uh, to have build a research network and to really uh, work in collaboration. So that's a very exciting opportunity that wouldn't have happened had we not had time to, to meet personally and spend time together. Um, the awareness is, is, is also uh, uh, transforming there. And so, uh, you know, I just actually last week got back from Zurich, which was now uh, a conference of all the world's experts on this issue 16 months after my fellowship and knew you know half the people in the room which is very uh, helpful for me getting our message across uh, <clears throat> the other the other major uh, thing was just the, the time to reflect on, on leadership you know when I when I actually when I left the country I had just hired um, you know my first full-time staff member along with some part-time staff and told her I'll see you in five weeks a week after she got there but you know, with time to reflect on, on growth of the company and leadership, you know, I've come back and now have eight employees, um, and have been a much better leader because of the lessons I've learned. With, you know, the, reading the book and the conversations with Colin Powell, and, right. um, it's it's you know it's important you know, for me to recognize as, as a you know younger person that you know leadership is really a skill you acquire, uh, and it, it this has been very helpful. Well, as a result of my fellowship when I returned home, uh, you know, there's no question I was a, a better leader and a better boss, uh, you know, uh, to the organizations that I that I run, and uh, I was also, you know, more inspired to really take our our research and our awareness to to a global level. Um, you know, we've been very much focused on the U.S. and North America, and we we've been able to accomplish some things and build some infrastructure. But for me to really say in, in 10 years we have a treatment for this disease, it will involve worldwide uh, collaboration. Okay.